Did you guys know that you're supposed to flush out your hot water heater once a year? Who knew? Come with me. This is Trey Hill, Gold Star Inspections. He's going to show us how it is done. So why do we have to do this, Trey? So water has calcium, all kind of sediment stuff in it. And if it's coming in here, it's going to just set. As that water heating, all those deposits are going to set and it's going to be in the bottom of your tank. And that stuff can get real hard and it can actually start rusting your tank. And then you have a leak at what, 12 o'clock midnight, 12 midnight, that's when you find out. So if you flush it once a year, you want to get all the sediments out and then your water heater will last a whole lot longer. Show us how it's done. It kind of looks simple, but can I do something like this? Of course, you can do it. It's very simple. So first, first thing is we want to, we have a gas water heater. If it's electric, um, so the first thing you want to shut off power to it. So if you have a gas, you can set this to pilot. So basically as we letting all this, um, water out we don't want the burner to turn on and start baking your baking your water heater because that can mess it up so if it's electric shut off the power to it or unplug it so that's first thing so then also you want to connect your drain hose to here so this has a, a, a valve on it and if we turn that sideways right now it's closed so now we're letting water out now it's draining into the tub okay so next thing is, what you want to do, as we're letting water out, air is coming in. It's like if you have a straw and you have the, you have the top closed, a lot of water won't come out. So what we want to do is we want to put air into the tank so it can flow quicker. So we're going to open up this TPR valve. And that's draining outside. So that's also going to help drain the tank. Where's that water going right now? So right now, this is your TPR valve and it's going inside the house. This is a safety device. So basically, if this water heater gets too much pressure, this opens up, let the water out so your water heater won't explode out your roof. That does happen. So that's why this is there. And this also needs to be changed every so often. A lot of people don't know how to do this. I think it's complicated when you're involving gas and power. So who do they call if they just want somebody to do it professionally? So plumbers. Plumbers do this on a regular basis. There's no problem just maintenance on my water heater. And they'll come take care of that. So yeah, so basically we're draining it out. And once it can come all the way down to the bottom, um, this process doesn't get the deposit out. So once it's empty, this is the cold water valve. We don't want water coming into it. So now we're draining. And so as it empties out, when it gets to the bottom, all that sediment stuff is on the bottom. So what we do, we turn the water on. It's kind of that water just shooting on the bottom, kind of loosen up all that stuff, all that nasty stuff we want to get out, loosen it up, and then we'll drain that out. You want to do that about four times, three or four times and then we can refill it and we should be good. Three or four times? Yes. Because what we're trying to do is agitate all that deposit that's sitting in the bottom. If it's been there for a long time, it's just hard sitting in there. So this water heater happens to be in a walk-in attic upstairs on the third floor, but what happens if it's like in the garage or somebody can't get to a water source? So this is, um, they should be able to get to like the garage would actually be easier than the attic, but a lot of times they are putting them in the attic. But yeah, the garage would be easier to get to, so you can do the same thing, hook up that hose, you can run that hose outside and do it that way. And that's how you clean out a water heater. That's it. Just Trey Hill. That's simple, quick, easy.